Good day, friends. A reading today from John's Gospel, beginning with the 12th chapter. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. May God add a rich blessing to the reading of his word. So Lazarus has been raised from the dead. And I think that's the appointed scripture for Sunday that we'll be addressing. And there was a great celebration. And Lazarus was there with Mary and Martha in the household of dear friends of Jesus. And Mary takes expensive nard perfume, pours it on Jesus' feet, wipes his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with a beautiful fragrance. Many people decry the use of social media. It's a godsend, of course, for us now. One of the things that I've been keenly aware of over these last days is that social media can be a, a tremendous, tremendous blessing. I've, on Facebook and other platforms, noticed how people have come together in prayer. Ordinary concerns of day-to-day -day living seem to have recessed, gone into the background. And one of the interesting things is that people have begun to express their needs on these social platforms. Idle conversation, humor, of course, is wonderful, and we've had a, a, a bunch of that, a number of humorous pieces, but idle conversation seems to have ceased, and all of a sudden, it seems as though people are very concerned about one another, and I take that to be of great importance, that we can, in this platform, particularly the platform that I like to use, Facebook, that we can bear one another's burdens. We can pray for one another. We can be aware. And somehow, God, in our praying together, in our sharing, weaves us together. And we become an important part of the family of God the body of Christ. We're knitted together with our own uniqueness and God created gifts and abilities. And so I think there's a tremendous deepening of concern one for another. The acrimony of the day recedes when we can get together and pray, when numbers and statistics become lives, when we have the opportunity to pray one for another and to lift up our concerns. And then, of course, many of you know I love to cook, and so in those moments of great anxiety, that's what I do. It's a tribute to my mom. So I think those moments are good, too, and I think it's important for us to realize that we're going to move across the full spectrum of emotion. We'll be at one moment maybe anxious, and then in another moment, once we receive the word of the Lord or the concerns of another or the good news of an answered prayer or a testimony of God's provision, then suddenly we move to a place, a place of sanctity, safety, calm, and the peace that surpasses human understanding. Peace in the biblical sense is not an absence of circumstantial conflicts or circumstances beyond our control. It's God's provision in the middle of that. God's provision is peace. And now this afternoon, as the evening begins to uh, come on, the days, of course, are a lot longer now than they were. It's a chilly day today, but 
there was the hint of spring in the air as the days lengthen. May God's light and enlightenment in our lives lengthen as well. Until next time, God be with you until we meet again.